rig here and our DC motor. Power supply down there. We're going to hook up our power supply and laze this piece of tape to get our input speed. So let's do that now. Test it. Getting about 91. This is our first scenario where we have a 12 tooth gear going into a 30 tooth gear, or sorry, 60 tooth. And since it's a smaller gear going into a bigger gear, the speed should drop. So we have our reflective tape there and our tachometer. Let's go ahead and test this out. Getting around, around 37 and a half RPM. So you gotta divide that by two since we're using two reflective tapes and that comes out to around 18 and a half. Here's our second scenario where we have a 60 tooth gear going into the 12 tooth gear. This should increase the speed since it's a larger gear going into a smaller gear. So let's see what happens. Uh, test it. We're getting around 435 RPM. Much better. Our third scenario where we have a gear train starts with a 12 tooth gear then it goes on to a 60 tooth and then finally a 36 tooth now the 60 tooth will just act as an idler so it won't really affect anything but the speed should still drop since it's a smaller gear going to a bigger gear let's go ahead and test it Tachometer. We are getting about around 60 RPM. So we're using two to three tape, so it'll come out to around 30 RPM. Here's our fourth and final scenario where we have two 12 tooth gears and two 84 tooth gears compounded together. This will obviously lose speed and gain torque since the output gear is much larger than the input. But let's go ahead and start it up. As you can see, the output speed of that final gear is so slow that we won't be able to measure it with the tachometer. But our calculations show that it comes out to be around 2 RPM. 